on guys, welcome back to another Kane Central YouTube video. All right, so today we have a very special video today and it's a collab with none other than Fanco Wrestling. So if you guys don't know what Fanco Wrestling is, it's a YouTube channel where this guy named Josiah, he talks about all the collegiate wrestling, kind of updates, kind of what's going on, unique insights to everything like college wrestling. And it's really useful for me to like go on there just to see what's going on or what he has to say about it. And that's actually really, really cool. So today we are actually um, talking about the differences in high school wrestling, specifically between Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, but also for other states as well because pretty much like no two states had the same ways to get to state in high school kind of how they wrestled like the tournaments and stuff like that so it's actually really interesting the differences in states and the wrestling but without further ado guys we're gonna hop in we're gonna see what Josiah has to say and then we're gonna hop back and forth uh, talking about similarities and differences What's up, everybody my name is Josiah and today we're talking about differences in wrestling states specifically Pennsylvania and Wisconsin because Caden's from Wisconsin and I'm from PA. So this is a common misconception that I see around a lot of younger athletes. They think that their state's wrestling is the only way to do things. And that's just simply not true. As you look to other states, as you get older, go into college and start talking to other guys, you realize that every state really does things differently. Of course, every state has the state tournament, but the way that you get there, the way you qualify, as well as how the season's laid out is quite differently. You look at somebody like a Mark Hall, wrestler at Penn State, who is the first ever six time team state champ and six time individual state champ in Minnesota at Apple Valley. So that's just something that you can't do in every state. For example, in PA, you can only become a four-time state champ. Now, if you do that, that's a phenomenal feat, but that's all you can do is four-time state champ. So that's the same thing with Wisconsin too. You can only be a four-time state champ. So let's start out with how the season started out. Well, in Pennsylvania, of course, the season starts in November and you get into things as well as, you know, the individual tournaments, the team tournaments, the duels between people around uh, your section and your local teams. That's just kind of how it works. Now, of course, there's training in the off season, there are clubs that you do, but really November is the start time. And as you know, the regular season is similar in a lot of wrestling states, but really what gets different is the postseason. So the postseason works a little bit differently in Pennsylvania as opposed to other states. In Pennsylvania, we wrestle the team state tournament before we wrestle the individual state tournament. And that's different from Wisconsin wrestling because we actually wrestle the team state tournament like I think a week later or something like that. So what happens is if your team qualifies for the section, regional, and state tournament, then your team is declared as a winner. And then a couple weeks later is the individual state tournament that you have to qualify for. Now, how does this work? Well, there are two different divisions in Pennsylvania. There's AA and then there's AAA. AAA is pretty much bigger schools. They have a lot more athletes and that just comes down to the size of the school and really nothing else. And because of that, the depth is usually a little bit more at AAA schools, but that doesn't mean you don't have good guys at AA by any means. Look at guys who are in the college level now. Gavin Teasdale was a AA guy as well as national champion Jason Nolf. He was a AA guy from Catanning, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has those two divisions, AA and AAA, but it's kind of like the same thing except Wisconsin has three divisions and it's Division One, II, Division Two, II, Division Three, And it's kind of unique too because Division One is usually the hardest as in like there's most kids and then Division Two less kids and Division Three even less kids. But I totally agree with them there. Like there's literally like good kids in like every single division, but like at certain weights, you know, D3 is a better, you know, whatever, D1 is a better, D2 is a better, whatever. Now, what happens to get to the state tournament? This is another thing that actually varies between between a lot of different states. So in AAA, what happens is there's a section tournament, a regional tournament, and then if you are top three, four, five, depending on where you are in the state, you qualify for the state tournament. Now, if you're double A, there's one extra step involved. There's a district and it's very similar. There are four different regions in double A and then there are five in triple A. And essentially what that comes down to is 20 guys, 20 of the top guys in the state qualify for the state tournament. Now, how does the state bracket work? Well, what happens is there are no actual seeds. There is a set placement uh, on the bracket of where 
guys go. So if you win your region, your place at the top of the bracket uh, or in various different spots, and you'll wrestle a guy who placed third, fourth, or fifth in another region from the state. And that's really how that works. And then the top got eight guys place. So that's pretty unique too. They place up to eight people in Wisconsin. We only place up to six. You, you saw he, there's like 20 guys in that state bracket. We only have 16. And actually for division two and three, I think it's 12 people. And so the brackets are actually really different. I'll put the two brackets, D2 and D3, and then a D1 bracket right here. And you guys can see how it kind of looks differently. And actually division two and three guys have like a, like if you won your sectionals, you'll actually have a buy and you'll pretty much like move on to like almost a semis already, which is absolutely insane. And then of course you have your team or your individual state champion, but then you also have a team individual uh, state title that's given out. So yes, you have a team dual state title that's given out in February, but then in March at the individual state tournament, another team could be the same, could be different, can actually win that state tournament. And then what happens is the top senior wrestlers in the state will actually move on and they'll wrestle in the Pittsburgh Wrestling Classic. They're invited to that and they'll wrestle for Team PA. Like that'd be so cool if you like everyone in the state like who won state could go to like this tournament. And I wish it was like literally like a dual tournament, like at all the state champions from like every state would just go to like I don't know somewhere in the middle of the state not like Kansas or something like somewhere like you know known or something like that and literally it's just a complete like let's say three-day event where they just do all these duels and then it'll just be like the best of the best pretty much that team will wrestle against team usa which this year had a lot of notable a couple of notable wrestlers from wisconsin in nick barnett and gabrielle skidmore so that's just a fun event that happens postseason where we get to see how pennsylvania stacks up against the rest of the united states and that just gives us a preview into how they'll wrestle in the collegiate level and one notable difference between pa as opposed to other states is that there's no girls wrestling state championship. And that's the strangest thing to me is because, you know, girls wrestling in PA right now, it's definitely growing, but look at other states like a Texas, there's just a lot of girls wrestling. One other thing that varies between states is whether Catholic schools and prep schools can actually compete in the state tournament. In the PIAA state championships, prep schools cannot compete. However, Catholic schools can. And Catholic schools, a lot of times, they can actually recruit guys from around the state and around the country, which some people think is unfair, but that's just one of the crazy things going on in Pennsylvania wrestling. Now, no one really here, I guess, really drafts people or like these private schools and public schools. They don't really like recruit anyone but I mean while those warriors you know recruits from all over the city you know we got the top wrestlers the cop competitors in the freaking world heck guys we got Waldo as our coach and I'm sure from this video you found a lot of differences between your state and Pennsylvania so make sure you let us know in the comments below what is so different between our state and your state? And does it even make sense why that's going on? And if you guys are fans of college wrestling, make sure you check out my channel, Fanco Wrestling, where I talk all about the latest collegiate wrestling news every single week. It's a lot of fun, and I had a lot of fun doing this collab with Caden, so make sure you check out his video on my channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you can see that there is actually a lot of interesting things that like, I didn't even know that about like Pennsylvania wrestling, like all these steps to go through. It's also really cool like making videos with another like YouTuber like in the wrestling community and that's really awesome and I'm really appreciating like there's so much like smaller YouTube channels that are in wrestling that are like kind of like coming up right now and it's really awesome to see that because as a community we're kind of like growing the sport exponentially and it's actually awesome so if we can make this thing like freaking prestige worldwide that would be insane but anyways guys that includes this video so if you guys enjoyed at any time make sure to leave a like and you know you can subscribe because you know I'm here every day but all right Thanks guys for watching. I respond to every single comment. See you guys in the next video.